Good morning to my new and old friends. Thanks for joining me today in our Connect Sunday School lesson, where our scripture today is John 20, 19 through 31, where some amazing things happen in this room. Now, I'm going to put on a little play today, and I'm going to play all four parts. So you'll have to pay close attention. And this might not be exactly what happened in this room, but it's what our story is going to tell today. Now, I'll set the scene for you. It's a room where all the disciples are gathered that evening after Jesus' resurrection from the tomb. So they're afraid of where Jesus' body has gone and unsure. They are not sure what's going to happen to them with the people who crucified Jesus. They might be after them. So they have great fear and they're all together in this small room and getting a little antsy. So that's where our story begins today. Our characters are Thomas, the disciples, the narrator, and Jesus. So let's get started with our story. I'm going out for a walk. What? Out there? Aren't you scared? I'm more scared that if I stayed in this room, I'll go completely bonkers. Plus, we need groceries. So Thomas went out. But just then, when the doors were all closed and locked, Jesus walked in. Well, you can imagine how startled they all were. Hello, my friends. I have something for you. What is it? Peace. You don't have to worry or fight anymore. I'm alive. Peace be with you. And guess what? I have a job for you to do. What is it you want us to do? Two things. First, I want you to be at peace inside yourselves and between each other. Didn't you already mention that? Yes, but it's so important I don't want you to forget. What's the other thing? I'm sending you out of this room. I want you to go out into the world in the same way my father sent me out into the world. Um, how did your father send you out again? Good question. The Father sent me with the Holy Spirit so that I could bring God to the world. Everywhere I went, God was there. And now I am sending you out the same way. But Jesus, we don't have the Holy Spirit. Good point. Come here. And as they came close to him, he breathed on them and said, Now you have the Holy Spirit. God's own breath has come over you to fill you up. Now you can go out and bring God into the world too. But hey, where's Thomas? He went out for groceries. Well, tell him about how I came by and everything I told you. Well, that was a lot that happened, didn't it? Well, when Thomas comes back, they tell him all about how they missed Jesus being there. And Thomas said, I won't believe until I see Jesus with my own eyes and feel this, the wounds in his hand and in his side. And guess what? Jesus did come back again and he showed himself to Thomas and let Thomas see him and feel the wounds in his hands and his side so that he could believe. But he also told Thomas about faith. Now, what is faith? That's believing without seeing, isn't it? We're not able to see Jesus now, but we still believe in Jesus and God's love because we see it in so many other ways around us in the world. So as you breathe in that spirit and breathe out the fear, I want you to also realize that when, you breathe, when we breathe in the Holy Spirit, it is our job to go out and share it, just like kind of to symbolize with these blocks. What do you think will happen if I hit this first block? We're hoping that it'll just go right like that. And that's how it is when we share God's love. It goes from one person to the next 
to the next. So Thomas did believe then. In fact, Thomas became a great disciple who traveled all over sharing God's love. He even went all the way to India. And there's many churches still today that are named after St. Thomas. So faith is something that we believe in without seeing, just like the air we breathe. We don't see that, but we believe that it's there because we're breathing it in and breathing it out. And in the same way, we breathe in God's love and spirit. So Thomas did believe then. In fact, Thomas became a great disciple who traveled all over sharing God's love. He even went all the way to India. And there's many churches still today that are named after St. Thomas. So faith is something that we believe in without seeing, just like the air we breathe. We don't see that, but we believe that it's there because we're breathing it in and breathing it out. And in the same way, we breathe in God's love and spirit.